Our founding fathers upturned the traditional roles of the people in relationship to the government. The citizenry became the masters and the government officials were to be their servants. But that new order is being turned back into the old order before our very eyes. The servants now think they're entitled to run things. I'm Michael Quinn Sullivan with a reflection on life and liberty. All good servants share a particular trait. They want to please people. That's not a bad thing in and of itself when that gift and attitude is turned in the right direction. Our system of government was designed to attract people pleasers. In their obsession with checks and balances on power, the framers of the republic wanted public officials to be those who yearn for the approval of their civic masters of the citizens. Yet a curious thing has been allowed to occur. Our republic has devolved. The process by which we select public servants remains the same, putting people pleasers into office. And yet, the structures of government and the miseducation of the people means once the politicians are in office, they start trying to please those who show up, the cronies, the lobbyists, and the other politicians. I can't tell you how often over the years I've heard politicians excuse violating promises and allowing horrendous things to occur under the excuse that they have to be friends with the other politicians. Functionally, they see themselves as servants to the head of their legislative chamber, to their mayor, governor, or whoever. They get their information from lobbyists and hope to get applause from the establishment-run media. This is not how the system is supposed to work but it's the system we tolerate. The politicians are the same people pleasers you elected. They're just seeking approval from the wrong people. And one way they please those people is to stomp on the rights of the people. The servants have turned themselves into the masters, and we've all allowed it. As a self-governing people, we must recognize our role in this unconstitutional reversal. We pay just enough attention to elect to office the guy or gal who has the most soothing voice or tickles our ears with the right poll-tested catchphrases, and then we check out. We're allowing our country to be driven in the wrong direction. We allow the politicians to escape to the back rooms where they meet with stakeholders only to emerge with a done deal to which they had foolishly given their word. And we then join in applauding their violations of our republic's most cherished principles as evidence of their leadership and statesmanship. <laughs> our founding fathers wanted us to be driving upwards to greater liberty and self-governance, while the bureaucrats and careers in government want to drive us back down to totalitarianism. It's time for the citizens to stand up and speak out and demand we move back to the original course. We must remind ourselves, each other, and most especially the politicians, that their job is to serve the people and not the other way around. The citizens must exert themselves like never before, raising our voices and encouraging others to do likewise. It's time for the politicians to remember they exist to serve us. We must remind ourselves, each other, and most especially the politicians, that their job is to serve the people and not the other way around. The citizens must exert themselves like never before, raising our voices and encouraging others to do likewise. It's time for the politicians to remember they exist to serve. You and I need to be about the business of reminding them. If you like today's Reflection Podcast, be sure to subscribe, rate it, leave a review, and encourage your friends to listen. The Reflections Podcast is presented by Texas Scorecard, and today's edition was produced by Luke Marshall in the 1836 Studios. I'm Michael Quinn Sullivan. Thanks for listening.